Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I was sitting here working and thinking about all of the things that are starting to come up as the weather changes, the seasons are changing, and all of the wonderful events and occasions that are going to require for photographers to come out. And so one of the things that comes along with seasons changing are weddings. You guys, weddings are starting to book. And I thought to myself, how about I do a video that tells people how to prepare for their wedding day photography. Now this could go two ways. I'm gonna actually do a video for photographers on how they can prepare for wedding day photography when they're actually gonna work weddings. And then there's gonna be this video that's talking to the actual clients um, that are preparing for their weddings. But I have five tips on how you can prepare for your wedding day photography. The first thing that you can do is have an unplugged wedding. Now you guys, some of you may or may not know what an unplugged wedding is, and that's okay, I'm here to tell you. An unplugged wedding is a wedding where you decide ahead of time that you do not want your guests to have cameras or phones out during your wedding day. You guys, this is one thing that can be a pain point for photographers and videographers who are actually paid to take pictures and videos for you on this special day. A lot of times we run into guests who do not mean any harm. They are just excited, as excited about your wedding day as you are. And so they get really happy and they want to take all the shots that they can get with their cell phones. And you'd be surprised that some guests even come with actual cameras to these weddings. You guys, this is fine. We all know that people are excited. They want to see you get married. They want to be the first ones to catch these moments for you. And that's fine. But they have to remember that in the middle of trying to get those shots, your paid photographer and videographer are also trying to get those shots. So do yourself a favor and do your paid vendors a favor and have an unplugged wedding. It'll ensure that we can get some of those wide shots for you without people randomly standing in the way. And it will ensure that your photos will first be presented by you and not by your guests. In the world of social media, you can see your wedding day on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, the same day while you're still at the wedding. This happens, <laughs> it happens often. And a lot of brides and grooms don't like that. But again, the guests, they have great intentions. They mean no harm. They're just as excited as you are for your wedding day and they wanna share this with the world. So to escape all of that, you guys, just ask that your guests understand that your wedding is an unplugged wedding. Number two, the second way to prepare for your wedding day photography is to notify your photographer of your wedding day timeline and to introduce them to your coordinator. Wedding days are long days. They are eight to 12 hours, depending on all of the activities that you have planned for that day. And it's important that your photographer and videographer know what is going on during the day. If there are special ceremonies throughout the wedding that you want to be taken, um, or captured for that day, let your photographer know if there are special dances or if you and the groom want to step aside um, away from your guest at some point throughout the day. And it may even be to a second, third, fourth location. Um, your photographer needs to know these things ahead of time so that he or she can plan to make this happen for you. Introducing your photographer to your coordinator will help out tremendously with this because the day is so sporadic and chaotic. And the coordinator will be there to be a point person for your vendors who are capturing this day if they have questions or concerns or just need a little bit of guidance on what it is they need to do to get those special photos for you that day. Number three, notify your photographer of important people ahead of time. So you guys, you have to remember that your photographer does not know your entire family. They don't know that special aunt that's traveling from out of state to come to your wedding. They don't know the grandparents. All they know is that 
yes, there are special people that need to be caught, but they don't quite know specifically who they are or how you want them to be captured. So make sure that you have a discussion with your photographer about any specific people that you want pictures taken of that day. Number four, feed your photographer and your other vendors when you feed your guests. So for me, I know that I don't photograph guests while they are eating. It makes for horrible pictures. People cringe up. They don't like to be photographed while they, they are putting a fork full of food in their mouths. And so that is the perfect time for you to also feed your photographer. Now, the reason you want to feed your photographer is because one, like I said, it's an eight to 12 hour day, depending on the events that are going on. And your photographer, videographer, other vendors are running around all day long and they are going to get thirsty and they're going to get hungry and so the thing is if you don't want them to step away to go to their car or to leave to go get a bite to eat then you probably want to feed them there are many things that can be missed if your vendors start to leave for a break if you feed your vendors, you won't necessarily have to deal with this because there's no reason for them to leave. They're sitting down with your guests eating at the same time and they can still capture some of those moments that may not otherwise be captured if they had to leave for a lunch break. And number five, the last tip for preparing for your wedding day is to remember to relax and smile. You guys, when you get to the wedding day, you are tired, okay? You've planned this beautiful wedding for months and months on top of months, and you're tired. You just want to get this party started. You're anxious to get it going. You're anxious to see your family, your friends, and you're anxious and excited to get married, but you don't realize how much you've really been running off of adrenaline for all this time because you've been busy planning for this big event. Well, I am here to tell you at some point, probably, hopefully that morning, stop, relax, and smile. I tell my brides all the time, I am here to take your pictures for your big day. So you don't want to get your pictures back and you look stressed or you look um, unhappy about the cake or you look like there's a problem with something. You want to make sure <laughs> that you are remembering to keep a smile on your face because these are the pictures that are capturing the big day that you plan for all this time. And I know it's easy to feel stressed, to feel anxiety, to feel like you're looking at what, what's going wrong because you're trying to figure out or remember some of the things you pay for. You're trying to make sure your vendors are showing up and doing what they're supposed to do. But this is the day that you can stop, pause, take a break and relax. You've done all the planning. You've gotten to this point. It is time to relax, smile and enjoy the moment. It is time to unplug. Let your vendors capture the joy and happiness that you feel for this special day. It's something that is not natural to do because you're in planning mode. You're trying to make sure that this event goes very smoothly and you're trying to make sure that you get out of this event the efforts that you put into it. I understand completely, but you want to remember to relax and smile so that the moments that are captured by your videographer and photographer are documented so that you can remember this day as a day that you enjoyed and that you loved. I hope that you all enjoyed all of these tips for planning your wedding day photography. If you know someone that is getting married and they are having a hard time trying to figure out the first few steps to planning their wedding day photography, please forward and share this video and tell them to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And as always, until next time, peace.